conquering hero of Mexico's fieriest days in the story of his desperate struggle to free his country from the yoke of European rule is found one of history's most amazing chapters. Napoleon III had taken advantage of a United States divided by civil war to flaunt the Monroe Doctrine and invade Mexico. His soldiers crushed the untrained armies of the young republic, laid waste its cities, slaughtered the innocent. For even then as now, power-mad dictators were imposing their wills upon helpless minorities. Let the world know that our conquest of Mexico is only the beginning of the fulfillment of our holy mission. To secure his foothold on the American continent and rule Mexico, Napoleon III sent Archduke Maximilian von Habsburg of Austria and his wife, Carlotta. Carlotta, who guided his destiny. Since we set foot off the ship, I have felt myself surrounded by mystery, as though everything we looked at possessed some hidden meaning. It has touched me too, Maxwell. It has made me apprehensive at having urged you so much toward this undertaking. And rightly did Maximilian feel the danger that lay before him, for against him and all the might of Europe, stood Benito Juarez and his followers. We will fight no more pitch battles with the French. We shall stop fighting Bazin his way and make him fight our way. The army will be disbanded. Officers and men will scatter and return to their own states. Lie low, but keep in touch with one another until they receive orders from me. The Republican army is an undisciplined rabble, poorly armed, without leadership. I am no militarist, Marechal. Let us enter into negotiations with Juarez immediately. Negotiations? Your Imperial Majesty might as well try to come to terms with some wild beast in the jungle. The whip, the bullet and the bayonet is the only language his kind understand. Was it you or your ministers who conceived the plan to mask your infamies behind my husband's noble name? Who tricked him into accepting the throne by means of a pretended plebiscite? Answer me, sire! Not another franc, not another man. We are through with Mexico. More than an empire is in danger. My husband's life. Here is no wild flight of fiction, but the burning realism of history's scarlet pages. A picture of great powers plotting the downfall of weaker nations. Of a patriot who, like his great friend Abraham Lincoln, will live in your memory forever. When a monarch misrules, he changes the people. When a president misrules, the people change him. Yeah.